The extra thumb. Imagine you're holding a smartphone, balancing a coffee, juggling groceries, and your keys just tumbled to the ground amidst all the chaos. It can be a bit frustrating, right? Well, what if evolution swoops in with the ultimate multitasking upgrade and blesses you with an extra thumb that would effectively turn our hands into biological Swiss Army knives? It might sound really absurd right now to imagine having six fingers instead of five, but anthropologists actually speculate that repetitive behaviors can can influence subtle changes over millennia. Plus, this evolutionary tweak might arise from the increasing demands of modern life, particularly our addiction to tools, technology, and TikTok-worthy dances. You see, evolution works on the principle of use it or lose it, or in this case, need it, breed it. And with humanity's increasing reliance on dexterity and grip, having an additional thumb dramatically boosts survival and reproduction and gives us a major advantage. In fact, there's already a rare genetic condition called polydactyly, where people are born with extra fingers or toes. So scientists could theoretically harness this potential and blend this natural selection with bioengineering. So while Mother Nature might take her sweet time, we might speed things along in the lab. Ethically of course. Larger eyes. You see, evolution is like the ultimate life hack that tweaks, adjusts, and upgrades living beings so that they can survive and thrive better. So it would make perfect sense to think that in a few hundred or thousands of years, humans might actually start having eyes that may resemble panoramic sunroofs. First of all, humanity's relationship with screens is undeniable. From binge-watching your favorite shows to endlessly scrolling, your eyes are always working overtime, so larger eyes might evolve to handle these close-up tasks better. It's like upgrading from an old-school TV to an HD widescreen. More surface area means more light can be captured, leading to sharper vision in dim settings. Then there's the fact that humans have recently started making plans to settle on planets like Mars, which have way less sunlight. So larger eyes would let us see in the dark, like a cat on a midnight prowl. I mean, who wouldn't want night vision as their new superpower? You should know that it is entirely possible for this to happen, because eyes have actually evolved in various ways across species to adapt to their environments, from the wide, sensitive eyes of nocturnal animals to the tiny eyes of creatures living underground. Evolution has proven its flexibility, and humans might not be left out. Plus, on the bright side, you'll never lose a staring contest. Smaller teeth. During the cavemen era, humans had huge, big teeth because our ancestors needed the tough chompers to chew through raw meat, roots, and other pre historic snack packs. But thanks to cooking, food processors, and people who blend kale into smoothies, you barely give your teeth a workout. And well, when a part of your body stops getting adequate workout sessions, it would ultimately start to shrink because evolution does not like to waste resources. However, evolution is a very slow cooker and not an air fryer, so this process won't happen overnight. But the truth is that it is already happening. Take the wisdom teeth, for example. The poor guy is gradually going into extinction faster than your New Year's resolutions. The silver lining in this evolutionary moment, though, is that smaller teeth might actually make us better. It would mean less overcrowding, fewer orthodontic bills, and fewer braces selfies in high school yearbooks. There's also the fact that it takes energy to grow and maintain large teeth, so having smaller ones could free up resources for other upgrades, like bigger brains or even a natural talent for parallel parking. Having smaller teeth might also change how we look because less bulky jaws could mean smaller faces, which might become the in look in the future. And well, at least you wouldn't have to worry about any more wisdom tooth extractions. Let's be honest, nobody misses that post-surgery chipmunk face. Webbed fingers and toes. Currently, about 71% of the entire Earth's surface is completely covered by water. Now picture Earth in about 1,000 years when climate change has succeeded in completely melting the ice caps and there's water everywhere. Basically, humans would automatically have to start spending more time in and around water, so to keep up with our new semi-aquatic lifestyle, evolution might decide to just bestow us with some new and improved natural swim fins. Sounds absurd, right? But it would actually interest you to know that a small percentage of humans already have webbed fingers or toes due to a condition called syndactyly. It's a genetic trait, so evolution wouldn't even have to reinvent 
reinvent the wheel, just make it a bit more common. Especially if the future generations start adapting to water-heavy lifestyles like underwater cities or jobs that require constant swimming, natural selection might just kick in. Now aside from the obvious fact that having webbed feet and hands means you'll literally be able to swim as fast as a fish, it would also provide you with energy conservation because webbing reduces the energy needed to move through water. You'll get more laps in with less effort. Work smarter, not harder. Sure, there might be a downside, like finding gloves and socks that fit, but who needs those when your fingers are aqua-adapted marvels? We'll just invent web-friendly fashion. Improved lungs. Picture this. It's the year 2525, and humans are no longer just surviving, they're thriving in extreme environments. Want a free dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench for a quick selfie with a giant squid? No problem! Fancy running a marathon on Mars without a spacesuit? Easy peasy. And this would all be very possible because we might soon get epic upgrades like improved lungs. You see, while our current lungs are great, they're designed specifically for Earth's cozy, oxygen-rich atmosphere. So if humans start to spread to extreme environments like higher altitudes or even space colonies, our lungs right now wouldn't be able to sustain us. Basically, evolution would have to give us improved lungs that can extract oxygen more efficiently and filter out toxins better. And the possibility of this happening sooner than you expect is very high. This is because genetic engineering and CRISPR, which is a fancy tool that scientists use to edit DNA, could fast track this process. So scientists might one day give us turbo lungs before mother nature gets around to it. Thicker eyelids. In today's world, our eyes face a constant barrage of threats. Screens glow in our face 24 seven, blasting us with blue light Light, pollution is practically auditioning for the role of eye irritant of the century, and let's not even get started on the stray eyelashes attacking our eyeballs like tiny ninjas. It's survival of the blinkiest out here. To cope with all this new drama, chances are evolution might decide to bulk up our eyelids like a protective layer of armor. Think of it as nature's answer to noise-canceling headphones, but for your peepers. So with thicker eyelids, you'd have a natural defense against harsh light, dust, and debris. Thicker eyelids would also mean less light seepage, and this would mean every nap would feel like hibernation. Basically, catching Zs would never be easier, unless of course you sleep through your alarm. However, just like any superpower has its kryptonite, having superior eyelids might also come with a few problems of its own. For instance, things as simple as blinking and subtle winks might feel like doing reps at the gym. Plus, thicker eyelids might need extra grooming, so just imagine how weird it would feel to have eyelid barbers pop up on every corner. Larger brains. Every day, new technology advancements are being produced. If it's not an AI robot dancing on TikTok, then it's a self-driving car trying to take over the automobile industry. And for all these new creative things to keep happening, humans need to keep getting creative. And, well, you need your brain for that. What this means is that your brain is basically the ultimate Swiss Army knife to help you think, learn, solve problems, and tell bad jokes, which is equally crucial for survival. However, as technology advances, so do the demands on our noggins. Imagine needing to process AI interfaces, manage hyper-connected social networks, and invent futuristic dance moves. Simply put, a larger brain could give humans a bigger processing unit for all these complex tasks. Now the truth is that your brains and the brains of your ancestors are very different because over millions of years, your brain has actually tripled in size, evolving to handle language, abstract thought, and memes. With the rapid at pace of modern challenges, our brains might expand further to keep up. Think of it as upgrading from a basic smartphone to one with all the bells and whistles. Plus, larger brains could enhance memory, learning, and creativity. So maybe we'd finally solve all of Earth's problems or figure out what really happened to the dinosaurs other than the asteroid thing. There's also the fact that you would be able to adapt better to complex environments like Mars or the depths of the ocean with a supercharged brain. However, big head equals big problem. Problem. So, larger brains might mean larger heads, leading to more challenging childbirth. In addition to this, your brain already consumes about 20% of your body's energy, so that simply means that larger ones might turn you into a walking snack machine. And well, if you think you're an overthinker now, wait until you have twice the brain size and power you have now. You probably spend all your time overanalyzing things, like whether thumbs up emojis and texts come across as passive aggressive. Shortened digestive 
system. Imagine a world where people never complain about bloating, digestion takes minutes instead of hours, and your stomach doesn't growl loudly during important meetings. In this futuristic world, the human digestive system has undergone an epic upgrade and is now a sleeker, shorter version that's more efficient than ever. Now, you might probably be wondering why something as ancient and essential as our digestive tract evolved this way. But the reality is, this evolutionary twist is probably way overdue. For starters, our diets are changing faster than your phone updates. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors were gnawing on tough roots, raw meats, and fibrous plants, so their digestive systems were like factory lines and needed to put in the work to extract every possible nutrient from these hard-to-digest foods. However, today, most of us are munching on foods so processed they probably come with a resume. Pre-cooked meals, lab-grown meats, and nutrient shakes means there's less need for a long, winding digestive tract. And well, if there's one thing evolution loves, it is efficiency. So why keep putting the extra plumbing if it's no longer needed? Another reason is energy conservation. You see, the digestive system is a surprisingly demanding energy hog, so if evolution trims it down, you'd save a lot of fuel for more important things like thinking, moving, or binge-watching your favorite shows. Think about it this way. Upgrading to a shorter digestive system is like swapping a gas-guzzling car for an electric one. Environmentally friendly? Check. Energy efficient? Double check. Less noisy gurgling in your belly? Triple check. Flexible spines. Let's face it, the human spine isn't exactly a masterpiece of engineering. Sure, it gets the job done, but it's like trying to balance a stack of books on a wobbly Jenga tower. I mean, just imagine the amount of sitting, slouching, and scrolling you do now, and now your spine carries the extra weight of our body. The poor guys are basically like stiff, breakable straws, but what if they become more like rubber bands with effortless flexibility? Well, that would be amazing. And the truth is, evolution kind of agrees with us because our current lifestyle and constant sitting, bending, and bad posture is not doing anyone any good. Plus, if future humans eventually succeed in moving to other planets, we get to live in crowded cities or even space stations, so the need to be compact movers cannot be ignored. Flexible spines would basically eliminate pain from our bodies. Your spine could handle long hours at a desk and wild dance moves on a night out. Humanity would move like a team of acrobats, and things like running, jumping, climbing would be smoother, faster, and more efficient. Now, even though the chances of us getting bendy spines wouldn't happen overnight, tiny genetic changes favoring spinal flexibility could accumulate over the next thousand years. And uh, trust humans to always try and get what we want faster, so technology might turbocharge this process, and things like CRISPR, bioengineering, and nanotech might allow us to uh, force evolution to give our stiff spines a futuristic glow-up. Reinforced ear canals. Just imagine your ear canal as a fragile little tube that can only handle so much sound before it literally gives up and walks out. Just think about how noisy the world is getting, from construction sites to concerts to the never-ending beep, beep, beep of notifications. Our ears are under constant attack. And this is exactly why evolution might decide to give us reinforced cartilage to keep up. Basically, with reinforced ear canals, your ears would become tougher, more resilient, and better equipped to handle the loud noises of modern life, like screaming toddlers, obnoxious car alarms, or your upstairs neighbor's impromptu tap dancing lessons. You'd be able to concentrate on conversations, work, or binge watching your favorite shows while filtering out all the noise you don't want. It'd basically be an updated version of your AirPod Pro, but way cooler. Bioluminescent skin. So let's say it's a cool Friday night in the year 3025, and instead of fumbling with your flashlight app during a blackout, you simply glow. Yes, you heard that right. Your skin lights up like a neon sign. No batteries, no apps, just your own personal luminescent light show. Basically, in the future, humans might start to look like a mashup of jellyfish and disco balls, but at least you'll always be lit at parties. You're probably wondering how this could even work, but with the current level of technological advancement, scientists could actually tweak our DNA using bioengineering techniques to borrow genes from bioluminescent creatures like fireflies, anglerfish, 
jellyfish or certain jellyfish. Your cells would house little light factories called luciferase and luciferin, the proteins responsible for making things glow, and with the right mix of oxygen and energy, your skin could emit light. Apart from the fact that being able to produce light directly from your skin would be a very cool upgrade, you could also convey your emotions and intentions easily with glowing patterns. When happy, you'll shine warm yellow, and when angry, it'll be a flash of bright red. It's like having mood rings, but built into your skin. And no one one can ghost you when your argument is literally glowing in their face. Adaptive thermoregulation. Just imagine it's 2125 and humans are no longer awkwardly sweating through their shirts during first dates or shivering like penguins in a snowstorm when someone forgot to bring a jacket. This idea sounds absolutely amazing, and it can all be possible if you go through an evolutionary process called adaptive thermoregulation. It's basically like having a built-in body thermostat that just makes sure your temperature is always right. This process might happen because the climate is changing faster than a squirrel on espresso. One day it's blazing hot, the next it's colder than your ex's texts. So to keep up, humans might evolve the ability to automatically adjust our body temperature to match our surroundings. Think of it like a smart home feature, but for your body. Basically, you can say goodbye to the bulky jackets or layers in one outfit all year round. Imagine all the closet space you'd save. That's fashion meeting function at its finest. Also, your body wouldn't waste any energy trying to stay warm or cool down, so that automatically means more energy for things you actually love to do. Compact heart. You see, as humans continue to adapt to modern life, there might come a time when certain evolutionary pressures might push us toward a smaller, more efficient heart because that would be the only thing that makes sense to have. Basically, if you have a compact heart, you'd be able to move blood more effectively, like a fuel-efficient hybrid engine. And with everyone living longer thanks to modern medicine and working working less physically demanding jobs, thanks to the AI overlords, a smaller heart could meet our needs without overexertion. Think of it as going from a bulky desktop PC to a sleek laptop. Same function, less bulk. Plus, with the increasing volume of medical advances, your organs might evolve to make room for additional upgrades. Artificial implants, perhaps. A smaller heart could free up space for a bionic liver, or maybe even a second stomach. The point is, evolving to have a compact heart would be extremely beneficial to humans. You'd be able to run longer, climb higher, and survive tougher conditions. Your compact heart could face less wear and tear over time, potentially extending lifespans by hundreds of years. Awesome, isn't it? Reversible muscle atrophy. So you just got back from a two-week Netflix binge wrapped in a blanket burrito, only getting up for snacks and the occasional stretch. Now, in our current bodies, your muscles would feel like deflated balloons, weak, tired, and ready to betray you. But in the future, with reversible muscle atrophy, your muscles could take this little lazy break without leaving you feeling utterly useless. The possibility of this even happening is at an all-time high because as humans humans spend more time in space in low-activity lifestyles, your bodies might adapt to pause muscle deterioration when we're not moving much. Plus, because of how fast astronauts' muscles shrink in space as a result of zero gravity, scientists are already working on ways to counteract this, and so maybe evolution will lend a hand. When it comes down to it, reversible muscle atrophy would give humanity the ability to take long journeys into space, give you prolonged periods of rest, or even adapt to environmental environments where physical activity isn't constant. It's like giving your muscles a built-in save game feature. Press pause, do nothing, and return later without losing progress.